Good morning everyone, it is The Wanderer and today, well first of all I have to give out a very special thank you to you all because we've just hit 500 subscribers so if you've ever hit that subscribe button and you've always wanted to see what I've been up to thank you so much. What I'm up to today uh, might not be overly enjoyable for me. I've told a few friends about this. I am going to Deep Blue Reading. It is a fish and chip shop and it is rated as Reading's worst rated fish and chip shop. Now, I've told a few people where I work, I tell them about the channel, every time I say, I'm going to Deep Blue, they always give me the same look of, the same look of shock and horror. And it's not just my friends who say it. Um, Camera Girl Toshko's let me borrow her phone so I can read some of these reviews. So, we have 98 reviews here. 26 of them are excellent, 26 of them are terrible, and the rest are in between. And we've got a few little uh, sort of quotes here. Not even cooked. This was my first and last ever time trying Deep Blue. There's a picture there of a very unappetizing battered sausage and chips. Uh, terrible service, overpriced low... <laughs> what on earth? Hammer required to eat pie. Hammer required... There's a picture. Hammer required to eat pie. Oh... <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, so it seems to be the food is terrible, you need a hammer to break the meat, and the service is terrible. I'm really looking forward to this one. Not. Anyway, if you do like this kind of stuff, guys, don't forget, leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. Thanks for 500 subs, everyone. We're on the road to a 1,000. I'm the Wanderer, and here we go. Let's make a move. Okay, so I'm going to be going in ever so slightly incognito here, no tripod, no microphone. I'm just going to do what I did for the other two fish and chip shops I've done in uh, Buckland Road and JFC. We're going to go for cod and chips, uh, mushy peas and curry sauce. Um, and because this is Reading's worst rated fish and chip shop, uh, Toshko's not going to be joining me in the eating of this. Um, I'm going to be treating her to a Burger King, because one of us has to be lucky. Let's go. Good morning, you right there, mate? Yeah, not too bad. Can I go for uh, uh, No, no, that's fine, thank you. Yes, please, yeah. And um, do you guys provide a night? Oh, you do night forks, that's fantastic. Cheers. Okay, fish and chips acquired. You may have noticed there wasn't way too much in the way of filming in there. I had two of the staff looking at me, keeping a very watchful eye, wondering what I was doing, wearing a beanie when it's sunny and uh, kind of having my camera, try to be as incognito as possible. Fish and chips came to a grand total of over £15, which is the most expensive. I went, as I say, for the same as what I went for in the other two fish and chips places. We're going to go to the park and try these out. I didn't get a look at them as they went in the bag, so my first eyes will be when we make it to the park. So with that being said, let's make a move. And I hope they're okay. I really do. For the price. For the price, they gotta be okay. Okay then everyone, so we have arrived in familiar territory. If you do remember, this is actually where I took my Buckland Road fish and chips. Let us now see how the deep blue fish and chips look. Well, first of all, I have to say, it comes in a box, which, uh, you know, for eating outside and the convenience, maybe I prefer having a box to the, uh, to the paper, but let's see what we've got here. Oh my word. Let's see what you think, guys. Mm. 
Okay, so here we go then. Now before I go in to taste everyone, uh, just like the other fish and chip shops, this isn't going to be the proper review, service, presentation and so on. In the box it does look okay. I'm a little bit concerned with the colour of the fish, I have to say, and the chips look a little bit, hmm, a little bit on the... Anyway, we can only judge by taste. I am a little bit concerned though that the place opens at 11.30 and we were in and out of there in about two minutes. Ordered the food, it was already there. Don't know how long it was sat there for. Let's start off with a chip. So here we go. Now I have to be very careful with these chips because in one of the reviews I read, and I will show you the photo, someone said they found two stones in their chip. These do not taste like the chips that I had in Butland Road and JFC. They're okay, they're okay but they certainly don't punch me as chip shop chips. Really, uh, even with the salt and vinegar, very, very plain. We'll save the best for last, which I'm assuming will be the fish, but we now have to go into mushy pea and curry sauce territory. So have a look at those mushy peas. In terms of looks, they're a bit, hmm, I'm not sure. You know, as I say, it's not about the looks, but they're not good. They are very, they were also sat in a, in a pot, in a pot for a God knows how long. They've got no flavor. I think the cup that it comes in will taste better than the peas actually. No, not, not mega keen on that. Not the best peas. Curry sauce, have a look at that. I mean, we'll try not to drip it onto the grass, but just the curry sauce on its own. Now that's actually okay. There's a nice tang in that, nice flavor. The bits in there give off this sort of zesty twang. I don't really know what kind of flavor they're going for. Curry, obviously, but <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, that is not bad, actually. I, I do like that curry sauce. And now all that leaves is the cod, which came to over eight pound. Oh, um, mentioned the total for this was over 15 pound 1556 it was actually the cod was over eight pounds so this needs to be the best thing in here by a country mile okay here we go and again it's it's inoffensive but there isn't much in the way of flavor to it it's kind of I'll get another bite just to be sure, but that first bite was was pretty plain. Now, if people are rating this the worst because of taste, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. The problem is there isn't much in the way of taste. Everything here has just been so plain. There's more flavour here. Um, Walker's Ready Salted Crisps have more flavor than, than this than this bit of fish. I'm actually quite surprised this should have more flavor, but what I can say though, is that I can definitely finish it. It's not, it's not offensive, it's not terrible. Reading's worse rated, I don't know, I need to try more fish and chip shop. On the taste scale though, I think I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a two, a two on taste. The fish should have more punch, the chips, even with salt and vinegar, have next to nothing. Mushy peas, the cup tastes better. The curry sauce, probably the best thing about the whole thing. So, let's finish this.
Okay, so let's be honest on that one. I was able to finish it, but honestly, in terms of flavor, there was no flavor, except for one thing, the curry sauce. So you pay 15 pound 50, whatever it was, I think I mentioned it earlier, 15 pound 50 odd, you want more punch. That was the most expensive fish, chips, curry sauce, and mushy peas that I've had out of the three that I've done. It's easily the worst rated of the three that I've done. It's because if I didn't have that curry sauce, I think I would have maybe had more flavor if I just ate the bag. I, I you know, is it really Reading's worst rated fish and chips? Reading some of the reviews, some of it is horrifying. Uh, the hammer to eat a pie, the stones in the chips, the, the stone cold food sometimes. I got okay food there, it was hot, I don't know, it was edible, but it wasn't, it wasn't worth 15 quid for me, I'm sorry. Is it truly the worst rated fish and chip shop? If it's rated that low because of lack of flavour, I can think of worse things you could be rated low for, so in the end, edible, inoffensive, nothing special. But with that being said though guys, if you did like this, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff, and there will be more stuff coming. I'm The Wanderer, and until next time, bye for now. I'll dispose of my bag. And, and the best thing in the whole thing. Bye for now. Let's make a move. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I hope you still.